I gotta say, that's a pretty good Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Although his name isn't Vegeta, it's vegetables. <laughs> so guys, today we're actually gonna be training with Vegeta a little more. Hopefully we get a new move. Also, we're getting back into the story. And I wanna stop by, I wanna stop by Frieza's ship, see what's going on there. And last video, we got one of those eggs, and I think we get more eggs if we go to these time miniatures. But also last video, Johan, he like disappeared or something. So hopefully he's not gone forever. Things are getting crazy. But here we go, guys. All right, so let's start off with talking to Vegeta. Maybe we can get some more training, maybe get a new move. And dude, this music is so stinking intense. Okay, oh, it's been a while. I sense a new confidence about you. Then I've got some lessons that will help you grow even further. Treat today's training like it, is th it was the real thing. You won't survive it if you don't. Your opponents won't be joining you for practice after all. Who are they? Well, they are more than happy to help in your lessons. <laughs> if you're interested, then let's get started. You're here to train, right? Okay, yeah, let's train. I've chosen tasks to suit your level, so I don't want to hear you can't complete them. Okay, so lesson two, what do we get? Flash Strike, oh that's cool. This is a special battle with fixed skill slots. Fight Vegeta, Nappa, and Raditz. Finish the battle with a Flash Strike, okay. Difficulty level four, that won't be too bad. That shouldn't be too bad. Also, <laughs> I don't think I applied the attribute points that we got last video. Gotta do that after this training. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna need it for this specific training, but this will be interesting. I wanna see what this Flash Strike is all about. I don't think this was in Xenoverse one. Okay. Um, flash strike creates key that explodes in the path of a moving opponent. Oh, well that looks interesting. Okay, well let's uh, let's try it out. What is it? It's on Y. Oh, dude, that is sweet looking. I love it. Oh, I love flash strike. I love flash strike. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, we have finish breaker and gallic gun. Oh, Nappa. Nice. That was nice. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to we need to transform. Oh, I can't transform! Okay, forget about it. So I was reading through the comments and someone was reminding me, I don't think I've done this before. When you're transformed, you can, if you charge up the Gallic Gun, you can actually teleport right to where the opponent is. And so we need to do that. I don't think I've done that before. Okay, so let's hit Vegeta. Okay, finish breaker. Yeah, flash strike. Let's hit him with the flash strike. Oh no! Okay, that was good. Okay, so maybe you have to be close. <laughs> you have to be close. I don't know. Looks like it's right where they are, so they can't move. Maybe. That's pretty cool looking. It takes a second to charge up, so I don't know. I don't know if this is the kind of move I'd want to equip. Yeah, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, he tried it on me. You can't do that to me. Well, I guess he could. <laughs> okay, let's. Oh, dude, that has some good range on it. Actually, that's pretty good after a combo. Dude, no, I do like that. <laughs> Look at him drop to the ground. He made a crater. <laughs> dude, I think I do like that. Maybe we'll roll with that for a little while. Please tell me we're gonna level up. Wow. Nice. You're the best, Dude, we have 14 attribute points. We have flash strike. I like that. Especially at the end of a combo. Dude, that is really good. Okay. Dude, we gotta equip that. We have 14 attribute points. That's really that's really good. Oh, the Majin family has returned. Perfect. Well done. You defeated foes who were really trying to kill you. And with style. Since when did Vegeta care about style? A huge power level doesn't mean anything if you flail randomly when the time comes. And the flash strike technique you use takes particular finesse. Your opponents won't always be fools. Keep a level head and watch your timing. Okay, dude, Vegeta, thanks for the move. I really like that. Okay, well let's uh, let's equip it. Instead of perfect shot. Oh yeah, we purchased super guard. That'll be good for raids if we do any raids. Okay, flash strike. And we did get Raccoon. We did get the Raccoon Eraser Gun. Let's just try it out since that's a new move as well. 
Okay. Someone wanted to see times four Kaioken Kamehameha, so we can roll with that for a little bit. I know we've been using the uh, final explosion for a while, and you guys were saying if we have more stamina, it helps to do more damage. So yeah, let's roll with this for a little bit. Okay, attribute points. What do we want to boost? We know what we want to boost. We want to boost the basic attacks. Let's get them up there to 80. 80 is good. What can we get this to? Oh, that's good. Okay, then how about two on health, two on stamina? Okay, dude. Well, that was good. Oh, you know what? There was someone over here I wanted to talk to. I see this Yahan. What's up? What's up, Yahan? You were the top student in the academy? I'm having trouble believing it. What, you don't think I look strong? My record of completing 10 expert missions, I, I've i never met anyone who could beat it. Well, I beat it. What's up? <laughs> I've completed a total of 10 expert missions. Oh, maybe I haven't done 10 expert missions. Ha, it was only obvious that I'm better than you. <laughs> there was never a doubt in my mind. Dude, you seriously talk to people like that? Okay, well I guess I gotta beat 10 expert missions to impress this guy. Okay, well, we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. Let's head over to the Majin house. Let's see what kind of clothes they got for me. And then we'll head over to Freeze the Spaceship, see what's going on there. And hopefully we're going to get another chance to turn the red one that turned into a blue one. Hopefully we get another chance to turn it into a yellow one. <laughs> you know what? One of these days I'm just going to buy a bunch of food. I'm just going to buy a bunch of food. We'll get Majin Buu all filled up. And he'll have another kid. Okay, me pick up lots of things. You give me candy for so give me the best thing. Uh, oh my goodness. Dude, how many times are we gonna get that? That's kind of a bummer. Okay, well let's just keep trying. Let's give her pudding. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, here you go. You ready to change? We found some things. What'd you get? An all aura capsule. Hi. Nice, I won't be using that. <laughs> okay, let's give you, let's give you a crab. Have a crab. Yeah, go uh, go find something. <laughs> All right, Majibu. How close are we to getting Majibu full? Need a bigger family, of course. Okay. We're almost there. Oh, that was good. That was good. Take this giant crab. Dude, we are almost there. Okay, that was worth the trip. Not the, not the elite demon suit. I'm pretty sure we already have that. I feel like we've gotten that multiple times. Elite suit demon, right? Yeah, we already have this. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully Naboshi starts going to different places. He says he keeps going here and there to play. Go to a new place. <laughs> you keep finding the same clothes. All right, we're heading back to Countdown City. We gotta go to Freeza's ship. And guys, as we're on the way, I just wanna thank you again so much for all your support. And I think we've been getting a lot of new people. So to anyone who's like new to this series, I just wanna welcome you and say thanks for joining. And I'm just gonna give another reminder. And a lot of people are already noticing, like I go through the game at my own pace. I don't go like super fast. We do three videos a week and it's about, you know, they're usually between 20 and 30 minutes. And that's pretty much all I play of the game. So, the re one of the reasons I do that is because I want to get the longest life out of this game as possible. I don't want to just play everything to where, like, I've done everything and then I'm done with the game in, like, a couple months. I want the game to last as long as possible, so it means that we go through a little slower. But I really enjoy that pace, and I'm glad a lot of you guys do too. And those of you who've already gone through the story and stuff, I hope you guys enjoy going through it again with me. Okay, so let's talk to a pool. You want to enter the spaceship? Wait. Are you a new applicant for the Frieza Force? What great timing! Ahem! I mean, count yourself very lucky. My name is Apool, and I'm quite influential within the Frieza Force. Usually, I would have to turn you away, but today, I'm going to let you take a pre-pre-entry exam. If you pass, I'll let you on the spaceship and even put in a good word for you with Lord Frieza. The pre-pre-entry exam involves bringing the medium mix capsule necessary for fixing the ship. How about it? If you really want to work here, you should be able to do this much. Now get going. Come on, hand it over. Don't you want to board the ship? Dude, I think I have one. If you want to get on this spaceship, you need to bring to the mix capsule. Come on, hand it over. Ew, maybe I don't have it. Okay, well, I don't have it. Okay, what did he want? The medium mix capsule? That's going to repair the ship? <laughs> How does that make any sense? 
Okay, well, let's see if I can just purchase one. Okay, I'd assume we'd get it at the item shop. Okay, buy with Zenny. All oh, health recovery items. What did he say? It was a mix? Oh yeah, medium mix capsule. That's it. Dude, we're gonna board this ship. We're gonna board this ship. Dude, this is really exciting. I've been wanting to board Frieza spaceship for a while. <laughs> Hopefully this works. He did say we have to do a pre-pre-entry exam though. If you wanna get, okay, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, we got it. Yes, this is it. Well done. You're not bad after all. Well, time to load it into the ship. I've already relayed the news to Lord Frieza. Once you've boarded the ship, you should probably report to Lord Frieza straight away. Dude, we can get the ship. Give me in that ship. Come on, where's the entrance? How do we get in? Uh, through the bottom? Uh, through the side? Through the top? Oh, through the top. Here we go. We're going into Frieza's spaceship. Dude, that is so cool. It looks really small from the outside. Yeah, I had a feeling this would be the case. It's so much bigger when you're actually inside the ship. Okay. We got Zarbon. What's up, Zarbon? Hmm. It appears that you're a newbie and that you're rather weak. You have no right to open your mouth, let alone stand in my line of vision. Understand? Then vacate the premises at once. Okay, dude. I'm suppressing my energy. Don't trust your scouter. This looks like a this looks like a laundry area. <laughs> okay. What else we got? We got some crazy people. What's up, Orlin? Naval, Ramon. There's Frieza! Lord Frieza. Okay. Let's talk yes. to Frieza. Greetings. I'm Frieza. I'm the one who commands this army. I've heard a lot about you. I understand you want to join my forces. But know this, the Frieza force doesn't take just anyone. If you're not strong, you're no good to us whatsoever. If you really think you have what it takes to join us, then you should be able to pass my test. So, what do you say? Think you'll take it? Dude, I'll take it. And listen, Frieza's army! Okay, well... Dude, are we taking the yes. test? You look like you're ready to go. All right, let's get started. Your test begins now. Good luck. You're going to need it. Dude, Frieza's army enlistment test! Defeat all enemies in three minutes. Dude, that should be easy. Energy capsules? We get energy capsules. Okay. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a pretty <laughs> easy test. Just a difficulty level two. But three minutes is pretty fast. Frieza's army enlistment test. Defeat all enemies in three minutes. Okay. You know, it's times like this, I kinda wish I had final explosion again. I feel like we could get a lot of them. <laughs> Dude, I keep knocking them up against the wall! <laughs> oh, or Nirvana. Okay. You know what? It'd be nice if I could charge up a little. Dude, this is actually pretty fun fighting in here. I just knock him up against the wall. All right, a pool. Okay, let's, oh. <laughs> the flash strike. Flash strike is good. No, I'm not running out of breath. I'm destroying these guys. Okay, let's use the Rakuma racer gun. Okay, let's go. Super Saiyan 3, Rakuma racer gun. Something tells me these guys are gonna get knocked out quick. Oh no! The blasted wall saved him! Okay, try it again. No! Oh, that takes a little while to charge up, but it is very powerful. <laughs> he got smashed up against the wall. Okay, would you stop that? Stop that, Orlin. Take this. Take this. Okay, you know what we need to do? Oh, that was it! We were actually close to him. Okay. Okay. Let's try it again. Dude, that is sick. So it does. It does teleport you right to him. Okay, Raspberry. A um, couple more hits and you're down for. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. And I think you guys said that works not only with Galakon, but with like other key blasts, like Kamehameha and stuff. Okay, now work yourself to the bone. Looking to I'm looking forward to seeing you in action. Okay, well, I guess we're part of the Frieza Force now. Seems you have some semblance of motor skills. That didn't really give us a lot of XP, but I didn't really expect much. Okay, we got some Ginyu Force clothes. That's something. You fought well. You pass. I'll let you join the Frieza Force now. I'll let you know when I have something for you to do. Until then, take it easy. Dude, did Frieza just seriously tell us to take it easy? 
Okay, so you know what? Let's check out this Frieza or the Ginyu Force training suit. Oh, what that looks like. Are you serious? Dude, it's got the Ginyu Force logo. That's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna wear that. <laughs> this isn't gonna be like a long-term thing, but I like, dude, I've always liked the Ginyu Force logo. Dude, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's go Ginyu Force head to toe. Dude, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, like I said, this isn't gonna be like a long-term thing. Also, some people in the comments were saying that the Z saw I was using before, I'm still not used to this form. It's actually better than this one. I don't know, I, cur I actually like this one better. I like the stamina regeneration, and this one depletes my key, which I don't like. Especially when I'm transformed, I don't want something that's gonna deplete my key. So, that's just personal preference. I know there's other super souls that are even better, so hopefully we get those eventually. Okay, well, let guys, let's get back into the story. Last time it was father against son, and dude, Joku taught Joe on a lesson. Especially when he went Super Saiyan 3. Dude, I don't know if Johan was still himself under that mask, but if he if he was Johan at all, he was definitely impressed and proud of his son. It's a shame we had to kind of beat the mask off of his face. <laughs> okay, so let's get back into it. And I guys, I think we're really close to the end of this thing. Oh no! Recommended level 58. Okay, this might be the biggest gap we've ever experienced. Hmm, I wonder what is going on. It's hard to say exactly what's happening. Oh, you're back. We examined the time vault, but we didn't find... I'm thinking to go back to the time vault, but it's impossible to say what we, we might run into. We should make sure we're prepared. Okay, I think this is the biggest gap we've run into. So, if we get seven attribute points for every level, Sometimes five is 35. Yeah, that's a lot of attribute points. Let's just do it. So we might not we might not defeat this first time, but I just wanna see how bad it is. Okay, what will you do? Do you wanna to go to the time vault? Or would you rather train some more first? Yeah, I think I'm ready to go. Very well. I don't know what we'll run into out there, so proceed with caution. Dude, I'll be fine. I got my Ginyu Force training suit on. <laughs> it totally doesn't look like something I should be wearing to battle. But like I said, I just love that logo. Oh, dude. All the scrolls are being altered. How's the investigation going? No leads yet. But something really important must have changed. The trouble is, I can't remember what was altered. Mmm, I know what it is. It's right on the tip of my tongue. I feel like I've forgotten someone important. Dude, it's Johan. Oh my goodness. So that's what they did. So by, they erased something in time. Erasing Johan, and if he never existed, maybe that's why they're forgetting him? <laughs> Joku's just looking back and forth. Whoa, what is he doing? Something wrong? Oh, it's the mask you brought back. Who did this mask belong to, anyway? Was it Bardock? No, that's not it. Someone else wore this once. <laughs> Trunks totally forgot Johan. Yeah. I knew the person who wore this mask. We were fighting to bring that person back. It was somebody vitally important. We traveled together through history, and fought to restore it. Oh, it was my partner. Yes, he remembers. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's the scroll. Dude, what did they do to Johan? What? What? No way, she's fighting Shenron? Did she just destroy Shenron? Well, that didn't go very well. I found it. It's our history. It's no good. Everything is falling apart. I'll take care of this somehow. We need you to go restore history. Dude, 
Dude, that was crazy! <laughs> she just destroyed Shenron! Okay, all the Dragon Balls turned to stones. Okay, so maybe we gotta prevent her from doing that or something? Oh, this is when Trunks was wishing for a hero or something in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Yeah, that's what it was. Xenoverse 1 started with Trunks making a wish for a strong hero to help him or something. So that's what this is. Trunks was making the wish. Toa destroyed Shenron before he could make the wish. We gotta destroy to Toa before she does that. That's pretty crazy. Okay, here we go. What? What are you doing here? Huh. How did you follow me this far? Oh, we surprised her. Oh no. Dude, if Toa is this strong, why does she even need, need Mira? Oh no, now I got the, the slow boots. I got the slow boots. Oh no! Okay, we gotta get her flying. Hit her with the flash strike. Yes! Dude, that's our combo. That's, oh no, that was good. Dude, Toe is good. Yeah, she didn't even need Mira. Uh-oh. <laughs> that stopping move is pretty hilarious. Uh-oh. What is she doing? Okay, hit her with Galagon. Yes! Okay. Dude, we need to, we need to transform. Oh, nice blocking. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty good, but I think we got this. I don't even know if we're gonna need any energy capsules. Yeah, okay. Let's let's just go Super Saiyan 1. I don't think we've ever transformed to Super Saiyan just 1 before. It's Joku. Okay. Oh, Trunks is here. Has he always been here? <laughs> he hasn't been doing much. He's letting me do all the fighting. Oh, no, I didn't charge it up. Okay, well, maybe... I don't know, maybe it doesn't work with Super Saiyan 1. Let's try it again. Uh-oh. Okay, let's try this again. Oh no. Dude, she's... <laughs> I think that's her throw attack. Yes! Dude, that is really good. And I do love having my key not, like, deplete as I'm transformed. That is pretty nice. Okay. Dude, so what do we got? Oh, I think we're poisoned, too! We have to slow boots, and we're poisoned. Yeah, my health is slowly diminishing. It's very slow, so that's good. Oh, dude, how did she dodge that? Man, she put a lot of effects on us. Okay, we took her out. Looks like we drove her off somehow. We could use strength like that. Yeah, I hope that certain someone shows up. <laughs> Okay, we did it. Dude, that was crazy. Pretty smart by Toa, though. Good. Wow. Dude, we are getting so much best, XP. Almost. We just leveled up again. Okay, so we're at level 54. Okay, so now that we're at level 54, we're only four away from the recommended. So that's not too bad. Dude, in this episode, we've applied 21 attribute points. That is amazing. Okay, let's get our Key Blast Supers up there. 45 seems pretty good. Let's get this to 35. Then max health, 33. Okay. Dude, it looks like Supreme Kai of Time has something for us, too. Ew. Well, let's check that out next time. Someone actually told me in the comments every time we collect one of those eggs, um, go talk to Supreme Kai of Time. So maybe what she has for us has something to do with that. So now that we prevented Toa from doing that, does that mean Johan's back? Hopefully. Well, things are definitely getting crazy. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And like I said earlier, I don't. I feel like I don't say this enough. Thank you so much for all your support. All the supportive comments, every time you hit the like button, it just means so much to me. So thank you guys again. But if you enjoyed this video, as always, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. <laughs> what? She's coming her hair. Oh man.